Hello students, in this video we are going to discuss example 4 of trigonometry chapter. So let's start. The minute hand of a watch is 1.5 cm long. How far does its tip move in 40 minutes? Let us visualize this using a figure. Suppose this is the minute hand of a watch which is 1.5 cm long. We can also consider this minute hand as the radius of the circle which is 1.5 cm. How far does the tip move in 40 minutes? Now this tip of the minute hand is on 12. After 40 minutes it will be on 8. So basically they are asking us to find the length of arc. That is we need to find the length of this red path that is L. So we have a relation theta is equals to L by R. As we want to find the arc length here, we can also write this relation as L is equals to R into theta. To find the arc length L, we need the values of R and theta. We already have the value of R that is 1.5 cm. But do we have theta? No, we don't have theta. So let's find theta now. Now see here. Minute hand in 60 minutes it completes one revolution, isn't it? That is in 60 minutes it completes 360 degree. So if this minute hand completes this whole revolution then it completes 360 degree, isn't it? So in 40 minutes how many degrees will it complete? For that we need to first find how many degrees will it complete in one minute. I mean See, this technique we are following from maybe 5th standard or so that uh, suppose if you want to find the rate of some 8 kgs, let's say potatoes, first you find the rate of 1 kg, isn't it? Then likewise, if you want to find how many degrees have completed in 40 minutes, first you need to find how many degrees complete in 1 minute. That is equals to 360 by 60. So degree complete in 40 minutes is equals to 360 by 60 into 40 that is 240 degree so hence theta is equals to 240 degree so, but to use this relation l is equals to r into theta we always need theta in radians you know that isn't it for that let's convert this 240 degree into radians for that what you do you simply multiply a degree measure into pi by 180 so 0 0 get cancelled 6 3s are 18 6 4s are 24 that gives you 4 pi by 3 radian so the value of theta in radians is 4 pi by 3. Now to use this formula we have both the values of r and theta. That is r is 1.5 cm and theta is 4 pi by 3. So r is 1.5 and theta is 4 pi by 3. Then 3 and 1.5 get cancelled which gives you 0 0.5 into 4 pi. So 4 into 0 0.5 is 2 pi and the value of pi here is 22 by 7. Why? Because we are finding the length of arc here. And length of arc will always be in numbers. The length of arc doesn't have the pi terms. That's why we take pi is equal to 22 by 7. So 2 into 22 by 7 is 6.28 cm. So what is the final value of L? That is 6.28 cm. That is the arc length here is 6.28 cm. I hope you followed. If you have any doubts or questions, please let me know in the comments below. And if you want me to solve any particular questions, you can always let me know. Thank you students.